We're about to get really technical in this video, but don't worry. I'm going to make it super easy to follow along because that's how we do it here. This is the channel for non techies. Okay. So what are we talking about in this video? We're talking about upgrading your PHP version. There's this thing called PHP that makes your website work and there's different version numbers of it. And depending on how old your web hosting account is, you're probably on an old version of PHP. That's all right, but the only problem is you're losing out on speed benefits and the minimum version that is recommended when you use WordPress, that version number keeps increasing and you get warnings. Right now, over half of websites that are using WordPress are on an outdated version of PHP. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to increase it. Now, there's different types of web hosting control panels. I'm going to cover this on the most common types of hosting panels. So it's highly likely that your hosting panel, you're going to learn how to do it in this video. Let's just go ahead and jump on into it. So if you've been following this channel for any amount of time, you know, I only recommend three categories of web hosting. And the first one I call more techie. It's less expensive, but it's going to be a little bit more technical. It's going to be on something called C panel. That's the control panel. I'm going to show you how to use it. Uh, then the middle is non techy and this is a hosting that is going to be a lot more friendly with the interface and the support's going to be a lot more friendly and speak normal English. And then there's the very techy. And this is what we get when it's a cloud server. So I'm going to go over these three types of hosting. If you want to find out more about the hosting recommendations that I make, you can visit ordernewhosting.com. So first we're going to take a look at the more techie. This is based on cPanel. We're going to be using name hero, but it's a standard interface. You're going to see this on most web hosting providers. It's called cPanel. Although name hero is so much better. I'll have a link down below. I do have a video coming out on this because it's that good. So your cPanel, if you have, it, it's going to look something like this and it's super easy to upgrade your PHP version. So right here where it says find functions quickly type PHP and that's going to filter out all these options. You see right here it says select PHP version. I'll click on that. It's going to take me to this interface. You can see why I call this more techie. It's a lot more techie than what we're going to see in a moment. But you can see right here it says current PHP version. There's a drop down here and then there's this list. Now you might be asking which PHP version should I be on to play it safe if you're watching this video in 2020, you might want to be on version 7.2 or 7.3. What's important though is that you know how to update it when the minimum number that you need to be running goes up. So you can see for this hosting account, I already have it on the right one. But if I wanted to go to 7.3, I would just select it like that. And then I would click right here where it says set as current. Very important. If you don't click on this, it doesn't save the change. The non teching hosting recommendation is SiteGround. I'll also have a link down below. This is about $10 per month. And this is what the control panel looks like. You can tell it's a lot more friendly. So go right here where it says websites, click there. And you'll want to come down here and click where it says site tools. And now we're in the control panel. You're going to want to go down here where it says devs, click right there. And then there's this option here that says PHP manager. We'll click right there and you'll see for this particular web hosting account, I have them automatically making the PHP version decision for me. Not all hosts do this. Most don't, but SiteGround does. That's why I say it's the non techie hosting choice because they do little things like this. But if I wanted control over the PHP version, I could come here and I can click on the little pencil icon. I can change it from manage PHP to change PHP version manually. And you might actually have it set to change PHP version manually. So this is where you're going to be able to control it here on SiteGround. Here we are on the very techie hosting recommendation, which happens to be Cloudways. I love their service. And here is their control panel. So you're first going to log in and then you'll click on the server that you want to upgrade. 
it on. Then you're going to want to come here and click where it says settings and packages. Then click on the tab that says packages. And then here it is. And you can see on this server, I'm not running the minimum version required for WordPress, which is 7.2. I'm on 7.0. All I have to do is click on the pencil icon. I can click right here in the drop down and choose the PHP version that I want. The only problem for me here though, is I have another application on here that doesn't work with PHP 7.2. I have more than WordPress on here. See what I mean when this is very techy versus the non-techy hosting in SiteGround. So in this case, what I'm gonna have to do is pull off and separate my WordPress sites from the non-WordPress sites on this server so that I can run two different PHP versions. And that's gonna cover most of the hosting control panels on the internet. You now know how to change the PHP version when it's time to do it. Now, inside of WordPress, they have a feature that they added last year where it says site health. And what's gonna end up happening happening is if you're not on version 7.2 of WordPress, you're going to get a warning saying you're on an outdated version. As a matter of fact, over time, that warning is going to come back when the minimum increases. So right now it's going to be 7.2, but when they change it to 7.3, if you're not on it, you're going to end up getting that warning. What you want to make sure you do after you upgrade your PHP version is just test everything and make sure everything works right. Any well-supported plugin or theme is going to work perfectly fine. They should have made their plugin or theme work with PHP 2 several years ago. So they've had plenty of time to do it. Although sometimes we rely on a plugin that is no longer being supported in that situation. You might want to find one that's currently being supported. And sometimes there's forks of these. So if you log into your web hosting provider to upgrade the PHP version, after you check it, I want you to come back to the comment section. Let us know the hosting provider you used, also the PHP version that it was on. This way we can see who's on who, what host and what version they are on by default. And uh, just go ahead and ask that or add that into the comment section down below so we all can see it. Can you give this video a thumbs up? It helps me on YouTube. And if you're not already, consider subscribing and clicking on the notification bell. I got your back when it comes to WordPress. When things happen, I'm gonna make sure that you know about it so you are not left behind ever. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.